All right, guys. Today is Friday. Friday, yay! Um, so I'm just gonna do some cards from the chakra deck for today's reading. Um, head over to my TT because I did some uh, videos on there as well. Um, if you like tarot readings, if you like dancing videos, if you like uh, talking videos, I do that kind of thing over on that channel. Um, well, social media page. My goal is to get to, I'm at almost like 12,000 or 1,200 subscribers on there. Um, or followers, sorry, I get them all confused. Uh, followers. My goal is to get to probably 5,000 followers within the next few months. So I've been putting a lot of effort um, over the last like year or two years that I've had TikTok. So go over there. It's Hanging with Jesse. Um, I came up with a name a while ago and because I was like, you know what? You can hang out with me because honestly, I have a small close knit circle. Um, and I'm trying to be more open to having more friends. So you can follow me along on my journey on there as well as here if you're not subscribed. So please, please, please subscribe. All right. I think I shuffled those enough. I'm going to do a few cards from there, and of course I'm going to do a Moonology one, and I'm going to do a self-care card one, because I have a few minutes. Um, I got ready early today, so that's a plus. Yay for Friday. And tomorrow I'm off, so I'm going to be doing a few things. I know I have to uh, finish my week 10 homework stuff, because that's due. Thank God another semester is done. Let me know if you guys are going to school as well because it's tough. It is tough. Like, I thought I would stop at my bachelor's, but then I was like, no, I can do it. I'll go through and get my master's. And, whoo, buddy, it's it's taking a lot of uh, my energy and, and all that. So, all right, I'll shuffle that twice. Let's do this deck first. Self-care deck. This is for y'all. Sound healing. Make a meal. And flow like water. This uh, artwork, it kind of reminds me of like somebody that's going like uh, on a trip or taking a nice relaxing bubble bath. She uh she has a tattoo on her leg, which is kind of interesting if you don't notice it. Um, but yeah, so be more in tune with the water and make a meal. Um, I've been trying to get into like healthier meals rather than just making air fryer meals because that's it's so much easier to just throw stuff in an air fryer. But let me know what um kind of recipes i should try because i need some help and it has to be stuff that does not have cheese or dairy so anything let me know all right one more i'm sure that i already shuffled this a lot but that's okay and then that little tappy tap some people just go like a little light tap or like this i just like to go like this. <laughs> it's yeah okay insecurity this is for y'all. Perception. Impasse. I have to look up that card. I don't remember that meaning. Um, and then joy. So to me, what I see with these cards is somebody is feeling their perception is negative. So they're having a lot of insecurities within themselves. And look, look at this close up. It's like the little devil. And then it's like an angel and it's like, it's like trying to tell you to heal your heart. So your perception needs to change to be able to spark joy into your life. Boom. That's what they said. Okay. Let me get the book for impasse so I can read out what it actually means. I don't remember what it means. Oh, it's saying, what's done is done. The card can indicate the end of a great emotional upset. The power to change direction for the better is supported in rust. Your angels appear to protect you in the long run. This is a detour, not a no. Be in the here and in the now. Things will change. Go where you are led for now. 
So that kind of makes sense as to why it's like giving you the insecurity and changing your perception to a roadblock and then to get joy. So that's very interesting. That's a good read. Wow, y'all got a good read. Okay. Let's see uh, what the Moonology deck says for you. I kind of like having my setup in here. Um, because I'm not like sitting on the floor. I'm actually comfortable in a chair. Okay. I'm going to shuffle it twice. I'm trying to do it on camera so y'all can see how I'm shuffling. I've learned this new technique and I love it. I absolutely love it. Boom. I love it. Don't get me wrong, when um when I get into my, my new place, I'm going to have like, uh one of the rooms is going to be my tarot reading room, and then I'm going to have like my crystal set up and all my decks set up, and then I'm going to usually use my ring light. Like right now, I'm just using like the natural light because I, I think it looks pretty. Um, but once I get my actual setup going, I will be using everything that I have. All right, should I do it from the top? No, I'm feeling like the bottom. I'll do three for you. Okay. Bring love into the situation. That's interesting. Prosperity lies ahead. And then it's a time for healing. See, it goes with your impasse and your perception and insecurity card is the healing card. Wow. So your joy would probably spark into uh, money if you guys are having financial issues and your insecurity may be um, dealing with either love or yourself. So remember, um, write down in your journal, if you guys haven't started one yet, get one and start it and write down things that you like about yourself. I know it sounds crazy and cliche, but once you're able to write those things out, you're speaking it into existence. Kind of like a uh, behavioral therapy technique. Kind of like it. So, yeah, do that. Work on yourself and what you need to do to get better. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Bye.